what's going on welcome back to i wonder got another flashlight video for you today come on back and see us welcome back it's a great day today in texas starting to see the moon come out it's cooling off a little bit birds are chirping fantastic day so i got a little video for you i uh, got uh, another flashlight and uh Let's show you this thing right here. Actually, it's not that big. <laughs> so uh, this one right here is a uh, Giver, Giver Rare, Give Giver Rare. I, I'm not sure how you say it. Um, so it's a USB charge flashlight. Comes in a little case. So um, basically, snap it open, um, pull it out. You got instructions in there. You've got the flashlight. You've got the USB charge cable. So we pull this flashlight out. Take a look at this beast. Huge, right? <laughs> uh, so this one is uh, zoomable. Um, so this black uh, aluminum. So uh, it doesn't give much description on it other than uh, just kind of the basics about it. So I, I expect this one to be uh, pretty low lumens. This is going to be something that's going to be uh, to go in your pocket or something like that. So. Um, uh, does have a really nice belt clip on it here does have the usb charge port uh, in the back with this little push button I'm not a huge fan of this push button right here but it does work i have not had any issues with it uh, it takes a 14 500 lithium battery uh, this particular battery is built in you cannot uh, take it out change it or remove it with a larger capacity uh, battery now however um, I did read up on it and there was a few people that tried and they said that it is actually hardwired in uh, so I did not even attempt it uh, to try to do it but uh, nice belt clip it is uh, you can slide it around so the cool thing about this light um, is that it has a side light so it's got the COB light so if you don't know what the COB stands for it's just chips on board uh, so basically uh, that's a board that's right underneath there and the chips are just directly on the board um, So these do put out typically a little more light. They are just a lot smaller as far as How they're constructed. So this particular one. Here's the So zoom in and uh, so zoom in and zoom out On there little bitty flashlight um, So this one's got a couple of different modes uh, so this one, it's uh, full power on. So let's go, we'll zoom out. So, uh, and then you get strobe and then you've got the side light that comes on. So this one, so if you've kept up uh, with any of the weather that's been going on, uh, springtime in Texas is, uh, it's fantastic like this one day and then the next day it's tornadoes and bad storms and all that stuff. So the other day we had a, a bad storm come through here well, I'm not going to say bad storm. We had a, a decent storm. Uh, there was tornadoes all around us. Didn't have any here. Thank goodness. Um, but we were without power for about six hours. Um, and so little small stuff like this, if you're trying to, you know, read a book or you're trying to uh, do something of that nature, something like this that has the side light on it, um, that stuff is great. Even if you just take it with it being having the lithium battery and you just... Uh, set it on a counter or something just to give you a little bit of light. Um, I told my wife, I said, you should actually put one of these um, like in your purse or something like that. Uh, you could also put one of these inside uh, your glove box in your car, uh, somewhere in there, because you can charge it with just a regular phone charger that you probably already have in your car. So it is micro USB, um, but rechargeable. So you can charge it in the car, uh, works. So there's that and then and so then you've got the side light. So the belt clip, like I, the, just the way that I picture this is facing the uh, light out and then clipping it on a pocket. Um, and then that side light facing out, especially if you are, you do things like um, you're an electrician or a plumber and you get down in the floor underneath the cabinet or something and you just kind of need to see what's going on. So there are other options. This one's $5.97. So not a bad deal. I wanted to try it and let you know what I thought about it. So when this one's zoomed out, it does give you a perfect circle when you're looking at the beam. So if you're in like a, in a room or something like that and you're just needing a broad uh, view, something like this works great uh, to show you this. So uh, to show you what, what you're looking for. Um, 
you know, overall construction, so it's good. So the head doesn't have any wiggle in it more than what you have with any of them. Um, so nothing just drastic as far as that movement. Um, so this is just a, a, a plastic cover on top of this side light right here. So I don't know. We'll see how that holds up over time. But um, overall construction is good. Like I said, I wish the button was maybe raised just a little bit. It does sit pretty flush with the bottom of the light. Um, you know, just if it had a little raised part, just something where you can get to it a little more. Um, you can fill it, but you know, I kind of want something that's raised where if you just grab it with your finger, you automatically know where the button is. But other than that, smooth finish does have um, a little bit of grip here on the back and on the front. Like I said, this is not going to be your out in the woods flashlight or something like that. This is going to be, you know, uh, in your car, it's going to be just carrying it around. If you, like I said, if you do a job that is an electrician, something like that, plumber, um, you can use something like that. Five dollars and ninety-seven cents, battery included, charge cable included, so you can't beat that. So, all right. So what what we're going to do? We're going to go to the. Uh, it's not really beam shot, so I'm going to basically shoot these uh, indoors. Um, and then uh, we'll see when that's done. So see you in a minute. So hey guys, I'm in the bathroom. I'm in my bathroom. We've been remodeling it. And uh, so I wanted to give you an idea of what these flashlights would be if it was completely dark. Simulation of like if your electricity or something like that was out. So uh, what I've got right here is uh, I've got the uh, uh, Giver Air um, flashlight. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. So... That is at the widest beam, so you can see kind of how big um, that spot is. So, and then if we uh, shrink it down, so it's okay. Uh, the The beam is not very good. Uh, it's not very consistent. If you kind of look around the edges, you've got a thicker line, and then you've got kind of a break in it. So, if you go um, somewhere around right there. Uh, are right there you get a better beam um, and it will actually um, you know it has it has a better constructed beam if you want to use that word so again this is it right here little bitty thing um, so that's what's giving you this this does take a 14500 uh, it's a built-in battery um, that comes with it so uh, I'm gonna give you another uh, instance so we're gonna basically take this and we're gonna set it up here with uh, this light facing out and then that's what we get with just the single uh, COB light that is on it that's the kind of light that we get just from that one uh, thing so this particular one actually surprised me with this side light um, at how much you get out of it so in a situation like this um, this one's up high so you're not really looking at it if you're in here and you need to take a shower and your electricity's out or you know whatever then uh, you could use something like that and that would definitely um, give you some light so this pretty much lights up the majority of the bathroom you know I mean it's it's just like a, um, a almost like a dull light but it lights everything up nonetheless you can see and function so and then this one also has let me grab the light here so there's it there it is again and then you've got strobe and then you've got the side light again so you get quite a bit of output out of this little thing so, and this one's five dollars and ninety-seven cents. I mean, something like that. Lithium does have the USB charge port in the end. Um, so, yeah, not a bad deal. So, uh, back to the rest of the video. How did it perform uh, to to what you thought it was going to be? So, like I said, it, it's going to be a smaller light. It's not going to be something that's going to be crazy uh, as far as. Um, you know just huge output or anything like that it's just going to be a you for a, an essential use if you need something that you need this side light um, I think this is a, definitely a uh, an option 
Um, so this particular one, like I said, is $5.97. If you purchase two of them, I think you can get two for nine, I believe. Nine or nine fifty, so you can get two of them. So I'll link those down below. So if that's something that you want to pick up or you want to try out, um, I definitely would say that this one is going to be an option and you don't have that much invested in it. Um, but yeah, I think this is an overall, this is a pretty good one. So um, I, I would definitely try it out. We've got some uh, other ones that we're going to be looking at that are similar. Um, most of them just kind of have a, a, a certain niche of a use. Um, that this one has, uh, you know, it's an everyday carry, like I said, mainly for an electrician or something like that. So, um, but yeah, so like, comment, subscribe. If you have questions, put them down in the comments. If you have suggestions on stuff that you want to see, different kinds of lights, you want to know more information about this light, like I said, comment down below. My email is also in the comments. You can send me any questions, anything like that that you would like. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Y'all have a great day.